Microsoft had announced job cut of 9,000 employees in the month of July. And it is just two months back in May, company had already reduced its employees by 6,000. So in just two months, company had already reduced its workforce by 15,000 employees. Now the very obvious question comes into mind is, number one, what are the reasons behind all these job cuts? Number two, who all are the employees who got impacted due to this? Number three, as an individual, whether we should be worried and think how we can save ourselves from all these layoffs? And number four, and very important question is, whether AI is behind all these job layoffs which are happening in the tech industry. So let's understand every reason in this video one by one. So now I found three major reasons behind all these job cuts which are happening in Microsoft. Number one reason is post acquisition realignment. So whenever any company gets acquired by any other company, always happens that team gets redundant or there are duplicate roles which get created across the organization. So the first priority of the acquiring company always remains to reduce the duplicate roles or the teams who are not required now after acquisition. Similar is the case with Microsoft. In 2023, company had acquired Activision Blizzard it is a gaming company and because of this acquisition there are many roles which are non-tech admin or hr related roles which got redundant and now company is trying to reduce those workforce or roles which got redundant or duplicated so mainly teams like hr support admin sales these kind of people get laid off in these duplicated roles or you know who are in duplicated roles they get laid off in this layoffs and that is the same had happened with Microsoft. Now the second reason is cost efficiency. So in 2025 Q3 company had clogged a revenue of 70 billion dollars and that too with net profit of 26 billion dollars. So it is not like company is in loss and because of that they are reducing their workforce in order to make more profits but it is already you know in in profits but still they are trying to cut down the cost in order to become more efficient and the operational efficiency can be brought out in the system. Now the third reason is which is the biggest one is cloud and artificial intelligence. Recently company had announced a capital expenditure of 80 billion dollars in AI and cloud. So if you see the big companies trend like Google, Meta or any other Amazon like companies they are also investing in AI very heavily. So whether Google, they are investing in Gemini AI, Meta is investing in Meta AI, and Amazon is investing in their warehouse automation and other, you know, Alexa division had already been cut off, right? So we are already seeing that Amazon is also reducing their job from Alexa and they are also reinvesting in AI related technology so that they can also be operational, efficient, and as much as they can invest in AI. So this AI investment is going across the industry and AI is disrupting the whole tech world in today's time. So now let's understand how it is going to impact Indian employees. So Microsoft has three different offices in locations like Bangalore, Hyderabad and New Delhi or Delhi NCR. So it is being said that mainly 500 to 600 people are going to be inf impacted because of this layoff and that too in the role of sales, marketing and HR and these kind of non-tech roles and because Microsoft has tech related roles in Indian offices so there will not be that much impact on Indian employees. Now see, this is era of AI first companies. So mainly all the companies are trying to become AI first companies who are trying to implement AI in different workflows and different processes in their company in order to make themselves more productive, more efficient and generate more profits. And if you see Gen AI is already replacing all the manual and redundant tasks which is happening. And if you are the one who is not using Gen AI in your day-to-day -day tasks, then it is high time for you to start learning all these AI tools, how you can leverage them in your day-to-day -day work. Second thing, you can also learn how to implement all these AI tools or 
how you can create all these AI tools or integrating AI tools in different softwares or different, you know, different processes. Maybe if you are a software tester, you can think of how you can employ Gen AI or AI agents in your processes so that it can become more efficient and reduce the time it takes in doing certain tasks and become more productive basically. Also, if you want me to create end-to-end -end roadmap for testers to learn AI, from very beginning to the very advanced then comment in the comment box as roadmap and i am going to create a new video on the complete end-to-end -end roadmap for testers to learn ai from very scratch to the very advanced and if you like the video please don't forget to press like button and subscribe to the channel as i share lots of industry insights and also the videos related to ai in software testing and development having said that Press the subscribe button and I'm going to see you in the next one.